Hello and welcome to the Iceman channel. Today we're going to talk about the Chameleon Mini Rebooted UI. Uh, it's something I've been working for the last months. And when you find it on the GitHub, people have asked me if I, you know, can have a binary distribution and, you know, and how does it work and what doesn't it work. But to start things off first is that the Chameleon Mini is a very nice little gadget. If you have a rebooted version of it, you have eight slots in it, which you have two buttons and you can select which slot and which buttons. It's configured by this terminal, uh, like a putty session with it. And it's really an annoying way of doing it. Uh, it's not easy. Well, it's easy once you know the commands and things, but it's just annoying. Really, really, really annoying. Um, so, there were this Chinese who did this... Okay, backstory. Um, November last year I met up with the, actual, the manufacturer, the, the, the dude who made this um, Chameleon Mini rebooted. Uh, it's, it's done by a guy called Proxy Grind. Well, that's his nickname. And, you know, I talked to him about it. I said that, you know, this uh, Chameleon Mini is a really nice one. He did it. It's exceptional and good. But, you know, it's a, it's a bad thing is that he made the firmware and, uh, closed sourced. So, uh, um, after some convincing, I actually got him to re-release his source code. Uh, because he had an extra functionality for his rebooted uh, firmware. And uh, we got that, so you can find it on the Iceman um, GitHub. You find that so firmware here, so you can actually now change it and add it and do things with it. But he also made another thing, and that was the UI, the Chinese UI for it. And uh, people have used it, and people um, think it's been looking kind of nice, or, or it was Chinese, so. Uh, not much to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I have it here laying around. Um, mm -mm. I don't believe I don't have it. Because I don't have it too much, actually. Yeah, I think I have it here. Let's see. I think it's this one here. You get this warning sign, and um, I don't think I can write it. Uh, it actually says in Chinese somewhere here. Oh, there you go. You have to click it. He wants me to install this um, DLL um, for it in Chinese, and I don't. Yeah, I want to quit. Uh, so, yeah. I don't want to install that. know it's looking for a um, special file kind of annoying anyway it's it yeah. well it, 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 yeah that's not the focus of today <laughs> let's say it you've seen it and and you know and, and it works and people are like okay great so we got a little piece of, I also talked to the manufacturer of Proxrine about getting, you know, the source code for the UI then, you know, of course. You know, see if you can do something better and open source it, you know, and get some enhancements. And got, uh, we got a fairly little piece of chunk of, of code out of from it. And we had the Chinese version of the tool. So we took that as a starting point, and from there on, it exploded with several different UIs. Uh, lots of people have done uh, UIs for the Camellia Mini right now, because they feel it. This one is made in, in Visual Studio for Windows in .NET, because that's what I'm good at. And uh, people ask me enough, you know, if you can, if you can have a binary dis distribution of it. And you can. Um, it's added here to the... I made this um, click once deployment, um, which you can actually just you know download directly from uh, this 
uh, link on uh, GitHub, you find it easily, and you just press install, and it will launch it. Demands.NET Framework 4.61, and you get it set up there. You run it. Oops. It tries to verify everything. Everything is installed. Oops, you didn't see that. Now it's here. I will turn down again. It gives you this icon on the desktop. Uh, 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 I think it's one way. I'll do this and I will do this. We'll start it. The thing with an. Uh, it starts in the wrong window. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, one of the click once deployment uh, runs, it has this auto update function installed in it, or this one has it at least. So it calls home. Sorry for that, guys. It calls home to see if it's an updated version up there. It means that you get always the latest version here. It doesn't do anything else. You can look up for uh, the click once deployment is, and you can look at the source code in the GitHub if you think it's like something going on, but it doesn't. So this is what it looks like. Um, the Chinese version of it. Um, looked kind of similar it had this idea of eight slots and you know you could work with one slot per time and lots of buttons in it i don't know if you remember how it looked like but it was yeah it took some time to get used to this is how it looks like when you uh, when no chameleon is connected uh, right now we have operations where you can see all the slots what how you configure it you have a dump management which works offline, it doesn't, you don't need a chameleon to work with it. You have a serial interface which needs a chameleon onto it. You can send your, you can type in commands and you receive a response for it, so instead of having putty for it. And you have a settings where you can uh, see and identify and what kind of tag it is or chameleon it is and which firmware it has. We can also change multi language. This is one of the new funny functions with this chameleon UI. You have multi-languages and templates. And if you want to add your own, I will talk about that later. You can just press this open location. Oops. Yes, I closed the wrong one. And it opens up where it's installed. And you can go into the languages and you can add your own language if you want. And share it. And here's the template for colors. So it's kind of smooth and smith. Let's see. And I will hook up my Chameleon Mini now, and you will see what happens. I don't know if you heard it, but success found Chameleon Mini device on Compox 6. It says it's a firmware rev E rebooted up here, and you also tell us which version of your Windows you will be. You also see that all of these slots memory slots are now uh, lit up, and you can start selecting things and if you select one slot up here that you want to work with this configure that one all of these actions buttons um, gets ena uh, enabled so this is the standard thing you can swap and say what you know the chameleon menu emulates tags so right now you can say either uh, this memory slot is closed or you can say it's going to emulate an ultra tag classic tag 1k or classic 4k and this is the extra MF detection mode, which is used in order to get the MF key button uh, to sniff and the um, password used for an uh, MIFA Classic uh, with weak, yeah, uh, MI Cla MIFA Classic uh, key out. Uh, we're not going to show this time, but I'm just going to show how it looks like. You can easily set your uh, the UID of a memory here there is the button when you press it once you can say what's going to happen you can use this that you're going to random UID or you're going to increase it or you're going to decrease it button long here is when you press the button and keep it pressed in and this one it doesn't know this command so you can't use this for my firmware revision E it doesn't work there if you would have upgraded the firmware with the latest one from the GitHub, you could have enabled this one. Ultralight has 64 bytes of memory to play with, so if I swap over to Classic, it will, you know, when I apply this, 
you will see where it is. 1024, 1k. So you can apply, you can select multiple slots. This is the enhancements of the uh, slots. You can do several slots and you can apply to many of them at one time. So if I want to clear it all, I'll press clear and it starts working on it. And close, 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 close. Take some time. Closed. Close, closed. This is what happens. Take some time, but that's what happens. It resets it. Um, you can also. What the chameleon does is that you upload a. And. In, 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 it's like, oh. That was interesting. Yeah, okay, continue. Never mind. That's a bug. Uh, is that you work with uploading a dump? So if you have memory dumped a, a working tag, you just upload it onto the chameleon mini a complete one, and it uses it as, as a you know foundation on when it's, it's presented to an actual reader. So if the reader updates the, the memory onto the that emulation, you can then later on hook up your chameleon to your computer again and use this UI and you can download the dump so you can compare those two dumps. So you upload a memory dump and you download a memory dump. And how you get a memory dump you would need something else. Um, the revision E cannot do that. It cannot act as a reader. So you need to get a dump from some, from somewhere else. Which leads me to the next tab. That would be the dump management tab. And it's kind of nice because um, mm -mm, it uses, oops, here we go. Do that, sorry. I'm gonna take two dumps. I'm gonna drop and drag them. Yeah, well, uh, well, of course they were identical. <laughs> uh, you can synchronize this. You can select this so it's synchronized with scrolling. Well, that's not fun. I uh, would need two different uh, dumps. So, here you go. You see how the difference in the tags are notified. I have you know, if you put this one, it synchronizes the scrolling between the both of them. It supports drop and drag. You can see 8 bytes, 16 bytes width of the data. You see the ASCII. And 4 bytes, but I don't know, 16 here. Next thing is you want to colorize it to see what, you know, the different memory layout looks like. And you want to see the legend and color legend. So this is the UI bytes. You find them here. We told them to use a color colorization of uh, an S50. That's 1K classic, micro classic 1K. And this is a BCB byte, a BCC byte. Here's the key A, here's the key B, here's the access bytes and here's the GDB bytes used for nothing usually which is kind of fun and you can add these templates you can either take this smaller template here which you only just like this big or you can even have an alt-right you see it the colorization of this just take the position of the bytes it doesn't care what kind of data are you looking at we this um, Hex editors uh, controls doesn't know what date, what kind of data it is. It's up to you to decide it. So if you do this, you can, yeah, you know, you have to know what kind of dump you're actually loading up. But I think it's amazing. Uh, the serial interface. This is how you uh, talk to your uh, 
talk to your uh, device. And if you run, you will get an answer from it. This is how it usually do when you program your uh, your uh, chameleon, if you have one. You run this text uh, in a terminal interface. So we added one of those here in order for you to see it. You also have some links to which commands that are available. I also see that this one didn't load uh, this uh, help text here because if I run help okay, like this, I would see this commands which this chameleon works with. Config my my closed. Okay. Cool. So that's what you do here. In the settings, you see um, an identification of what the tag looks like. It's connected. It runs this firmware. This is a picture of the device that you are using. If you use the RevG, it looks different, of course. Here you can see if every two seconds it should keep alive, um, this, you know, keep the session alive with a device. And here you can choose the default the direct for download or dumps. You know, you can point it out, it saves it. And if you want to swap languages, you can go and do that. Italian or Linga model. Chinese. Well, I'm not going to do that back to English again, please. You can also reset the chameleon from here and you can do restore it into the pristine mode. We have added with this distribution, this binary distribution, you can actually just reset, uh, easily reset it by pressing upgrade and then load defaults uh, and it will upgrade the firmware on your device for this Rev E. Uh, to the one that you got um, got from the seller from a, from the manufacturer, so it's easy to restore it in that sense. And that's the Chameleon Six, uh, the Chameleon rebooted Rev E uh, version 1.1 UI. Um, it's really nice. It's, it's I love it. Um, it's an easy way to use the Chameleon, and you know you can buy it at some places. Lab 401 has it, of course. I used to sell it on my nice SQL place. And you can find it on Taobao or RFX Secure or whatever, you know. Let me know in the comments below if you uh, like the video or you, if you want me to show off some other things with the community, what you can do with it. And. Uh, you can also go into the GitHub. I love to see it on GitHub. Um, look at the repos here, and you know, contributing to it, changing some uh, code, some bugs, you know, getting some more extra things done. So thank you for listening and tuning in. Have a good time.